Instantly Reading People's True Intentions Part 2 Welcome to Smitholux Hub, your gateway to unlocking the secrets of human interaction and understanding. In today's captivating episode, we embark on a journey to unravel one of the most intriguing aspects of social dynamics, instantly reading people's true intentions. We'll equip you with valuable insights and practical tips to decipher the hidden language of human behavior, helping you navigate conversations, relationships, and the world with newfound clarity. We start our exploration of the art of instantaneous people reading part two with tip one, master the art of observation. The foundation of people reading lies in keen observation, Pay close attention to a person's facial expressions, body language, and overall demeanor. Often, the most valuable information is hiding in plain sight. Tip 2. Detecting fidgeting. Fidgeting is a telltale sign of restlessness, discomfort, or nervousness. If someone can't sit still, plays with their hair, bouncing legs, adjusting clothing, or taps their fingers, they may be experiencing discomfort, anxiety, self-consciousness, or a desire to appear more put together than they feel. It's a clue to dig deeper into their emotions. Sometimes, people use specific techniques to manage their fidgeting. For example, taking deep breaths or clenching and releasing fists can be attempts to regain control over their nervous energy. As you sharpen your people reading skills, pay attention to these subtle cues. Fidgeting can provide valuable insights into a person's emotional state and help you approach your interactions with empathy and understanding. Tip 3. The Power of Proximity In the intricate dance of human interaction, proximity plays a significant role. How close someone stands or sits can speak volumes about their comfort level and intentions. When someone willingly enters your personal space, it's a sign of trust and connection. It's as if they're saying, I'm comfortable around you, and I want to be close. Conversely, if someone consistently maintains a physical distance, it might signify a desire for space or a hint of discomfort. Pay attention to these subtle cues in your people reading journey. Tip 4. Assessing Pupil Dilation the size of a person's pupils can reveal their level of interest and arousal. When someone's pupils dilate, it's like a neon sign signaling heightened interest, excitement, or arousal. Imagine you're sharing an exhilarating story or connecting on a deep level. The dilated pupils reveal their genuine engagement. Conversely, constricted pupils can be a sign of disinterest, discomfort, or even distrust. In situations where a person feels guarded or uninterested, their pupils may appear smaller. Tip 5. Crossed arms and legs. In our journey of people reading, let's explore a subtle yet revealing aspect, crossed arms and legs. Defensive barrier. When someone crosses their arms and legs, it often signals subconscious resistance or a protective barrier. In professional settings, it can indicate skepticism or hesitance to engage fully. The feet direction. Pay attention to their feet. If their arms and legs are crossed, and their feet point away from the person they're talking to, it's a significant clue. Open posture. On the flip side, uncrossed arms and legs with feet pointing towards the other person suggest openness and genuine interest. It shows a willingness to connect on a deeper level. In the art of people reading, crossed limbs act like shields, protecting one's inner world. So, as you refine your skills, watch for these cues to gain insights into comfort levels and willingness to engage. Nonverbal communication is a language of its own, shaping the dynamics of our interactions. Tip 6. Head tilting and frequent nodding. In our people reading journey, we've reached head tilting and frequent nodding, a subtle yet revealing nonverbal language. A tilted head shows interest and attentiveness. It's like they're leaning in, fully engaged in your words. Nodding? It's the universal sign of agreement and approval. I'm with you, I agree, it says. But what if the nodding gets exaggerated? It gets fascinating. Excessive nodding might reveal hidden anxieties or impatience, signaling a desire to move on or meet your expectations. Sometimes, it's a cue for you to wrap up, like checking watch. It's a silent plea for closure or a shift in the conversation. In people reading, this nodding is a captivating clue into emotional dynamics. Observe closely, consider the hidden emotions, and piece together the puzzle of human interaction. Tip 7. Voice pitch and speed. Pay attention to changes in a person's voice pitch and speed during conversations. A higher pitch and faster speech can indicate excitement, enthusiasm, or nervousness while a lower pitch and slower pace may suggest calmness or confidence. These vocal cues can provide valuable insights into a person's emotional state and level of comfort during an interaction. Tip 8. Lip biting. Lip biting can indicate nervousness, uncertainty, or desire. It's a self-soothing behavior that often surfaces when someone is grappling with conflicting emotions or feelings of attraction. Tip 9. Breathing patterns. Monitoring breathing patterns. Our breath, the silent rhythm of life, can also be a key indicator in people reading. 
Pay attention to changes in a person's breathing patterns during a conversation. Shallow or erratic breathing might signal anxiety, discomfort, or nervousness. Deep and steady breaths, on the other hand, indicate a sense of calm and confidence. The pace of breathing can align with emotional states. Rapid breaths might accompany excitement, while slow, deliberate breaths may accompany contemplation. In your quest to become a proficient people reader, remember to listen to the unspoken language of breath. It can provide invaluable insights into a person's emotional landscape. Tip 10. Gauging reactivity. Reactivity, the way someone responds to external stimuli, offers valuable insights into their emotional state. Observe how quickly and intensely a person reacts to various situations. A swift and strong reaction to positive news may indicate genuine excitement and enthusiasm. Conversely, an exaggerated reaction to a minor setback might hint at underlying stress or insecurity. As you navigate the complex landscape of people reading, assess reactivity to understand the emotional undercurrents beneath the surface. It's like deciphering the hidden notes in the symphony of human interactions. Tip 11. Observing post-interaction behavior. The next tip in our comprehensive guide to people reading is observing post-interaction behavior. What happens after the conversation can be as telling as the conversation itself. Notice whether the person lingers, offers a warm farewell, or follows up with a message or call. These actions can reveal the depth of their interest and the connection you forged. Conversely, if they swiftly disengage or avoid further contact, it might be an indicator of their level of comfort or the success of the interaction. Tip 12. Analyzing clothing choices. Much like shoes, a person's clothing choices can reveal a wealth of information about their personality and preferences. A meticulously tailored suit often signifies professionalism, attention to detail, and a respect for tradition. Vibrant and eclectic clothing suggests a creative spirit and a penchant for self-expression. In your people reading journey, don't overlook the canvas of clothing. It can help you paint a more comprehensive picture of an individual's character and values. Tip 13. Mirroring vocal patterns. Just as we mirror body language, we often mirror vocal patterns when we feel connected with someone. It's like a harmonious duet where our voices align in pitch, tone, and pace. When you find yourself naturally synchronizing your speech with another person's, it's a sign of rapport and connection. Your vocal harmony creates an unspoken bond that strengthens your interaction. On the contrary, if you notice a mismatch in vocal patterns, it could be a cue to adjust your approach. Mirroring vocal patterns can enhance your people reading skills and deepen your connections. Tip 14. Decode facial expressions. Facial expressions are a goldmine for people reading. Learn to recognize common emotions like happiness, sadness, anger, and surprise through the movement of facial muscles and eyebrows. A genuine smile, for instance, involves the eyes, crow's feet, and mouth. Tip 15. Listen actively. Effective people reading involves not just observing but also active listening. Pay attention to tone of voice, pitch, and speech patterns. People often reveal their emotions and intentions through their words and how they say them. Tip 16. Trust your gut instinct. Intuition is a valuable tool in people reading. Sometimes, your subconscious mind picks up on subtle cues that your conscious mind misses. If something doesn't feel right in an interaction, trust your instincts and investigate further. Tip 17. Consider the context. People's behavior can vary depending on the context of the situation. Consider where and when the interaction is taking place. A person may act differently in a professional setting compared to a casual social gathering. Tip 18. Baseline behavior. To accurately read people, establish a baseline for their behavior. Observe their typical expressions, gestures, and speech patterns in neutral situations. This baseline will help you spot deviations that may indicate underlying emotions or intentions. Tip 19. Body language speaks volumes. Body language is a rich source of information. Crossed arms might signal defensiveness, while open postures suggest receptivity. Be aware of gestures, posture shifts, and even mirroring. When someone unconsciously mimics your body language, it often indicates rapport and agreement. Tip 20. The eyes speak volumes. Eyes are like open books, revealing a world of emotions and intentions. Dilated pupils can signal interest or attraction, while narrowed eyes may hint at skepticism or mistrust. Never underestimate the language of eye contact, it conveys confidence and engagement. Consider the lingering gaze, a sign of romantic interest and an undeniable connection between souls. On the other hand, when someone avoids eye contact, it's a silent signal of discomfort or concealed truths. They might be anxious or harboring secrets. Then there's the intense stare, enough to make anyone feel uneasy. An unwavering gaze can indicate hidden agendas and mysteries yet to unfold. But remember, context is key. 
In a friendly chat, prolonged eye contact shows genuine interest and attentiveness. In a tense debate, it may signify a challenge. So, as you refine your people reading skills, remember that context acts as your guiding compass in the intricate world of human connection. These foundational tips will set you on the path to becoming a skilled people reader. Remember, like any skill, practice is key. The more you interact with others and consciously apply these techniques, the better you'll become at deciphering the intricate language of human behavior. In your ongoing exploration of people reading, remember that the book doesn't end with the last page. Pay attention to the epilogue, where actions and intentions continue to unfold. As we conclude this part of our people reading journey, remember that understanding others is an ongoing process. Pay attention to the unfolding story beyond these tips. Armed with these 20 valuable insights, you're well prepared for your people reading adventure. Don't forget to catch the first part of this video titled The Art of Instantaneous People Reading if you missed any of the previously shared tips. Every interaction is a chance to decode the language of human connection. Like any skill, people reading requires practice and patience. Apply these insights in your daily life. We are eager to hear your thoughts. When you encounter someone new, what's the initial aspect that captures your attention? Share your observations and stories in the comments below to inspire others. As you venture into the world equipped with these 20 psychological tips, keep in mind that every person is a unique chapter in life's grand narrative. If you found this video valuable, please like and share it. Subscribe for more insightful content. Your journey in the fascinating world of people reading has just begun. Thanks for being part of our community. Until next time, take care, stay curious, and keep shining.